Hi, welcome back to Vola TV. It's Friday the 29th of January. I'm joined today by Lorraine Simpson, Deputy Head Teacher. How are you, Lorraine? I'm very well, thank you. Lovely to see you. I am also joined today by Mary Therese Gardner, our Principal Teacher Equity. How are you, Mary Therese? Yep, I'm good, thanks, Barry. Brilliant. And Joanne Sutherland, a teacher of um, physical education and dance. How are you, Joanne? You all right? Hi, Barry. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Great. I'm delighted to be joined by you all. Now, first thing I want you to say is a wee bit of business. Um, S2 options start next week and uh, you're going to get an email with students and parents about S2 options. Um, so please keep an eye out for that next week. Really, really important process. Make sure that um, you're well on top of that and, and that you've got a clear idea of what's going on. So you should expect an email next week. What, well, as I say, one will go out to students and one will go out to parents. So um, please keep an eye out for that. Now, first today, um, Lorraine, you've got a little bit to tell us about uh, partial care and wellbeing during the lockdown. Yes, um, just to, to kind of emphasise the obvious that um, health and wellbeing is, is so important at the moment and it's something certainly we prioritise as a school. Um, I think something we learned from the last lockdown was just how important it was to maintain routine and structure in a young person's life. And that's why we made the decision to go ahead um, and follow the timetable. So it's, it's, a, it's a different way of teaching this time round. Um, every young person will follow their own timetable and their classroom teacher will be available on the period that they would normally have that in school. They um, will be available to answer any questions. Um, we've been really, really pleased with the level of engagement of young people this time round. But it's something that staff are very, very vigilant about and um, we are monitoring on a daily basis. I think it's it's really important um, that we remember that schools are not closed, we're just working differently. So all the supports that are normally in place for, for parents and for young people are still available. Um, so if anyone is struggling in any way, shape or form, it's really important that they just let us know. Now, whether that be um, a young person in their Google Classroom, I would really urge them, if they're struggling with the work, just to let the, the classroom teacher know. Um, whether it's about connectivity and um, parents struggling to get devices or Wi-Fi, please just phone the school office because we can support with that as well. But if it is a wider um, concern about health and wellbeing, pastoral care are still working so hard um, you know, to support every young person in, in the best way that they can. I would just ask parents and students just to be patient because those same pastoral care teachers are also class um, teachers and they are delivering their subject as well. But they're working very closely um, with our partner agencies to ensure that if we can, as a school, directly support the young person, we can signpost to other agencies that might be able to provide support. So we're doing our utmost to ensure that no parent or young person becomes overwhelmed um, uh, 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 you know, during this lockdown, because it is, it's a real concern for everybody. And I think that's what we just need to be really vigilant to make sure that's not happening. Great, thank you. And in many respects, I guess, whilst it's not business as usual, we know it's not business as usual, um, we're, we're trying to make it as, as close to that as we possibly can. And there's daily check-in. I know I talk about this every week, but it's so important that young people check in every day, just so that we know that, um, that, that, that they're there and that they're doing that um, and, and follow their usual timetable. You, you, you refer to that as well, Lorraine. So just so important that we uh, we keep things as normal as we possibly can at the minute. And another thing that, that we heard yesterday was that SQA have extended their deadline for um, um, assessment evidence and predicted grades. So we've got a little bit longer for that. That's, that's going to go into mid-June now. So a, a, another important aspect of us um, really thinking about what's going on at the moment and making sure that we've got the, the best chance for young people to, to do as well as possible. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And Mary Therese, um, I know that you, you're involved in a lot of uh, elite sport. You play football for Hamilton Ackies and, and I know that you're a very keen runner, but lockdown prevents you doing a lot of these things. And I know a lot of our, a lot of our viewers, um, students and parents will, will be finding that a little bit tough at the moment. Can, can you tell us a wee bit about some of the things that you're doing to, to overcome that and to, to keep yourself active? Yeah, well, yeah. I guess I'm in the same boat as a lot of our young people and staff that they leave an academy where I'm not able to play football just now. I'm not able to meet up with my 
my teammates, which I love doing, which is a, a release from, you know, normal day life. Um, but at the moment, because I can't do that, uh, every day I'm making sure I'm getting out for a run, just a wee short run, um, and also making sure I'm getting out a walk every day, which is very good for, you know, my own mental health, my own well-being. Um, and I, I would say to anyone, you know, it's a really good thing to do just to get out the front door, go a walk, even, you know, just a wee mile or whatever, just to get away from the screen because we're all spending hours just now staring at a screen, which is a wee bit, which is difficult. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting out a run every day and then I'm going for a wee walk in the afternoon as well. Great, thank you, Mary Tess. Joanne, you, you, you're a very, I know you're a teacher of dance and PE, but you're a very, very keen dancer, aren't you? Um, and is that, is, are you trying to get involved in other things at the minute as well to, to try and uh, fill that gap? Um, yeah, obviously my studio has been shut for, for quite some time now, so unfortunately it has been performing over Zoom, which again is then increased screen time, which is quite difficult, and I know a lot of young people as well, like Mary Therese was saying, um, a lot of young people at the academy, they'll probably have these opportunities to continue with their training that they've been doing, but they will be on Zoom as well, um, which is increased screen time, so just trying to get outside as much as you can even if it's just for a very short walk just to get away from the screen is is very very important i feel that's massively helped me throughout this this time as well that's terrific yeah. Brilliant. And, and i know that you um, you've been involved in some really interesting this, uh, work this week with Ian McEwen, our, our principal teacher of PE, and uh, you're, you're creating a new offering for for broad general PE for s1 s3 Yes, yeah, so when we returned in January, obviously, as um, Lorraine was saying earlier, we were getting back into a structure and finding our feet with the routine of working from home following a timetable through the school day. So for that reason, we didn't provide any BGEPE at that point. So for S1 to S3 classes in their core PE time, that was more just free time to catch up on any work and really find our feet with the routine. However, now that lockdown's been extended, we obviously are wanting to provide something for that. So as of next week, we're going to launch a, a little inter-class challenge for all our BGA classes, which is called Feel Good February. So this is more, um, not necessarily just focused on physical education, it's more of a holistic well-being approach to try and... Um, maintain physical activity and even put some more physical activity into your daily routine like we say get outside do something in your house get yourself moving to really get those endorphins flowing and just feel good um, a lot of this will be away from screen time as well so alongside that there are some creative and research tasks for any pupils that um, maybe don't have access to physical activity at the time of their PE lesson if they're maybe injured or if they're in the hub or if the, the weather isn't, isn't great to get outside there are some research and creative tasks as well but a lot of it is geared around um, getting outside, getting moving, going for a run, going for a walk coming up with and carrying out your own workout just to get yourself moving and it's going to be a class competition so it's a, a google form that takes two minutes to fill in just providing us with information about um you your class and what type of activity you did and we're going to be tracking it throughout february and seeing what class can do the most amount of physical activity so if you go for even just a 10 minute walk every single day and you record that you'll get five points for your class if you're like my Therese and go out for a run and a walk every single day and you're each and every one, you'll get 10 points for your class. So we'd love to see as many BGE pupils getting involved as this, in this as, as they possibly can and getting as active as possible just to keep themselves feeling as good as they possibly can throughout this time. That's brilliant. Oh, thank you, John. I think that sounds like a really great fun thing, a really interesting thing. And I suppose the message from today's programme is we've all got to look after our health and well-being during lockdown. It's so important that, that we're keeping active. And if you are struggling, if you've got any difficulties, any problems, even if you've got any questions or concerns, the school is still available to you. We're here for you. Um, we're a big part of the community, we hope. And um, it's really, really important that you get in touch. So, thank you very much for joining us today on Fuller TV, and uh, I'll see you again next week. Thank you.